Ready? Before we get into all of this amfoil surface effect technology and hydrofoils, you need to know why we need all of this stuff just to make electric powered boats. Water is over 800 times more dense than air. That means you either have to drag the boat through this molecular mud, which takes a massive amount of energy compared to an automobile or truck going down a road, or you have to lift it up out of the water dramatically and reduce the parts that touch water. It's not an exaggeration to say that a boat, it's, it's like a Tesla automobile having to tow a 10-yard dump truck full of rock behind it every minute it's used, dragging the batteries down very quickly. For years, we've been overcoming this water density problem just by putting big engines in and pumping pollution all over the place. Now we're at a critical juncture to reduce carbon and greenhouse gas emissions to zero. And electric propulsion, it's, it's the only solution. But lithium batteries have energy limitations compared to diesel fuel, and every molecule of energy saved is of paramount importance for the viability of electric-powered boats. Okay, with that said, now, we've been working on this problem for over seven years, and, and we finally found the solution, and it's called surface effect, or in some places, in planes, it's called ground effect. It's a molecular miracle that's been known since the Wright brothers. Surface effect lift requires no energy depletion and amazing no carbon emissions. Most of all, it's a documented fact of physics that surface effect creates 200, actually over 235 times more efficiency in lift than any other conventional hydrofoil boat. Obviously, you need forward motion propulsion to obtain surface effect, but working with hydrofoils that lift the hull up out of the water to reduce drag, we use very, very small electric motors, which translates into battery, less batteries, and less energy consumption. That fact then translates into more speed, more range, and less charging time. Ah, how do we know this surface effect really works? During World War II, bomber pilots were trained to fly very, very close to the water if they experienced engine or fuel problems, around 50 feet. And it was found that they only needed 25% of the horsepower to maintain the same speed thanks to surface effect lift. Remember, this 75% reduction in energy consumption was accomplished by very high drag conventional airplane wings, not the low drag amfoil hydro wings that we're using. Besides years of in-the-water testing here, we were able to attain, at great difficulty and expense, an international patent protection in over 60 developed countries in 2021. Now, if someone else had tried to use surface effect as we did on a hydrofoil boat anywhere before us, we would never have been able to get one pat. You see, you actually need adequate surface area with free flow air above it and below it to obtain maximum surface effect lift. Those things sticking out in the drawings and uh, out of the side of the amp foils look like airplane wings, but in fact, they are specially designed amfoil hydro wings that maximize the incredible efficiency created by surface effect. Also, you cannot obtain surface effect 
with a skinny hull, one hull on hydrofoils. We tried that, all right? We tried that years ago. And also, you can't obtain surface effect on a conventional catamaran uh, design, uh, two hulls, all right, with a big cabin superstructure blocking the critical airflow uh, over the surface. The cabins make a big mess of it. If that were the case, catamarans would have been using surface effect decades ago. Thanks to some really talented people working here on the Shannon Amphoil technology for years. I, I really believe we have the solution for zero emission recreational, commercial, and ferry boats, all boats. Thank you.